Okay, I'm going to try to keep this short. I, I tend to ramble. Um, I'm rusty, and I've got a lot on my mind um, and, and what I'd like to accomplish this morning. Um, I haven't posted a video in a long time, uh, probably since last August, and it is now like the 7th of May. Um, I, I haven't been very active in bushcraft. The little bit I have been out, I've been with other people, and I didn't have the hands or the attention free to operate the camera, and also I wasn't doing anything interesting enough. Um, the videos that I did film didn't turn out. Uh, I did like a three-part uh, thing where I was in the woods trying to pick bow staves. Um, thought it'd be interesting for anyone who, you know, would want to, you know, was maybe going out trying to look for a, a, a self, you know, project to make a self bow. Um, and, uh, I, del I ended up deleting, I think the middle one. And so then nothing made sense. Um, I've, uh, I've just, I've been busy. Uh, I changed jobs. I think I mentioned that in, uh, one of my last videos and, uh, which was, that was a great, great, um, great thing on uh, for me to do um, I like where I work um, it is a little longer hours I actually didn't get the job I thought I was going to get um, which would have actually freed up a little bit more time but where I'm at really good people and um, uh, uh, better for me stress and health wise um, I still I'm still pretty active I get to walk a lot uh, around our property but uh, um, I'm not crawling under houses. I'm not plumbing anymore. I'm not crawling under houses or, or folding myself uh, up in attics trying to track down track down crazy stuff. Um, but uh, anyways, um, the little bit I have done, I've just been, you know, I'm still in the spirit of bushcraft. Um, I've been working on haversacks. I've done videos on these. Uh, I don't know if I've done a gear dump, um, which this is actually the fifth one I've made in the last couple of years. Um and uh just trying to perfect the design for my own liking it's uh just really inspired by the haversack that deep deepwood handcraft did for the pathfinder uh thing um i am a fan of dave canterbury uh and a lot of the stuff that he talks about he does a lot of not just bushcraft survival stuff but he also just does a lot of history lessons too and a lot of that's interesting to me um but i made the haversack uh, it's got the tomahawk and uh, it's just basically a five-piece kit uh, and then I've also made a new one of these um, a little more artsy than my my usual stuff uh, with the with the, the antler toggle and stuff um, but uh, I've been watching like howling dingo stuff and, and a lot of his bushcraft sporn deals have something like that but it'll be like a like he's he's down in Australia but he's a he's Scottish so he he has a kind of an odd, an interesting take on stuff. Um, a lot of times he's got a button and it's actually a piece of shark vertebrae. So it's like a cartilage button. Um, I just did an antler thing, which I can actually, uh, this actually came out of my flint napping tools. Um, I had an extra one, so I just put that on there. And this just has my compass, uh, 50 gallon drum liner. I've done videos on those. Um, the belt is usually my summer kit. Um, I'll have a, a knife, a compass here, um, fire kit, uh, and like that, just some like quick grab shelter stuff. And then my canteen, uh, military canteen set. I just, I threw this on, I threw my bush lore on there just because, um, uh, I threw it on there and, um, for something else and I never took it off, but it takes up space because I am planning on use, uh, adding another pouch to this side to make a food, food kit. Because a lot of times the belt and the heat of the summer is all I carry. So, anyways, um, I picked up some new subscribers. So, I, uh, I thank you for coming by if you see this. Um, I do appreciate people coming by, watching my stuff. Um, I don't beg for subscribers. I don't have a Patreon account. Um, my philosophy is if you like what you, you know, what you come across, you'll watch it and you'll stick around. Um, you know, but, I, you know, I, my only uh, wish is I would hear more from people more comments more questions things like that but uh, I do appreciate um, the ones I you know the people I do uh, chat with I've had some very good back and forths with some other youtubers and stuff um, that are out you know doing their own research um, but uh, anyways I'm trying to keep this short because uh, I have other things I want to try to do and um, uh, like that I'm still alive and I do 
have uh, some ideas for some more videos. I know I keep saying that, but um, I really need to get back into bushcraft. Um, and uh, one thing that I do want, need to do is find a new base camp because uh, the spot that I did a lot of my stuff in uh, was completely destroyed. We had a tornado go through south of the town I live in and uh, it uh, not only wrecked my teepee, but in that area, it leaned a bunch of trees over. So as they die or fall, that's kind of a dangerous area now. So I, uh, I, can't, uh, I can't really utilize that. So I have to find a new bushcraft base camp. So that's what I'm going to be doing uh, here in the near future, not today, uh, trying to get back in the swing of things. I came back to my old uh, stomping grounds. Um, in fact, this ca the camera is now sitting on a little twig that sticks out of a cedar tree that I actually tied my first plow point um, shelter over or from um, on my first solo overnight uh, years ago. I did a video on that too. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to get back to, I want to make some coffee and stuff and I have some other things that I've uh, prepped over here off to the side. So anyways, um, we'll see you on the next one.